once you've got your character in the in your level, you want to go download the Live Link Face app. So that'll be in the App Store. You can search Live Link Face. Go and open. Oh. Or you know, once that's downloaded, find it, open it, and and it'll come up with this display, which is your face mesh sort of thing. First thing you want to do, actually, bottom right, is go collaborate, re-collaborate. So neutral face expression, so they can pick up what your face is like, and then base it off of that. Cool, so we've got that collaboration information, that's cool. Go into settings. Um, you want to stream head rotation. I think that was turned off in the first place, but that is important for your head to actually move and rotate, not just the face. And then live link settings. Um, got your targets. This is your IP address. You can find this by searching IP down here in Windows, Ethernet or Wi Fi settings. Click on your connected whatever whether it's Ethernet or Wi-Fi, and IPv4 address down here. That is the exact code that you're going to need for um, this IP address, which will be blank in the first place. So type that in there. And then uh, iPhone name, that will be Unreal. That should come up. Go back. Go back to here. And then in Unreal, go into here. This is the blueprint for our character. Into face here. And this is the skeletal mesh blueprint. So this is the controller. Double click on this. And come up here and go blueprint on the right. You can also get to this if you're back here. Content, meta humans, common, face. Face Anim BP, same location. Okay, so once you're in here, you have to set um, set the iPhone to pick up your face. In this drop down, you might need to restart your system to do this. In this drop down, click on the iPhone, and there we go. We got the mouth moving and stuff. LL face head, live link face head. Uh, there we go. We got that now as well. So the rotation's happening compile and save that and then final step uh, to activate this in the actual game we need to go click on your character we need this top root in the details panel and then there's just this option default live link face subject do the same again select your phone and then check the face head option and then when you play your game you can use the WAS D keys to fly around and I'm using the mouse to look around as you're flying around. Um, there you go, you are, should now be um, picking up your face within game. Um, this is the first step to uh, live streaming as an avatar. So exciting stuff really. Uh, next thing we're going to do after this is uh, get a bit crazy with the to retexture the face using Quixel Mixer, which is another program associated with Bridge, which allows you to just play with all kinds of different materials. So we're going to do that and maybe load in some uh, assets to make this uh, character's clothes a bit cooler, stuff like that. So hopefully this is exciting so far. Yeah, look forward to getting to the rest of it with you. Cheers. That was another episode of Bounty, aka how to become one with the internet, where I am going on an ever-building journey to using all the elements that are available to us in Unreal to create the maddest stuff we can in VTubing, ArcViz, DMX, live stream, creative, creative, creative setups using Unreal and, of course, the off-world live capture cam. Uh, to check out the other videos, follow the link in the description for the first video, to start from the beginning, uh, to follow my journey all the way on Becoming one with the internet.